and welcome to the JJ Show, another great magic trick to amaze your friends and family today. Yes, today we are going to be learning the middle card. Now, the middle card, it takes a little bit of making this one, but once you've made it, it's very simple to do. Check it out. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Yes, you can win a fantastic prize. What we have here is three cards. Yes, three cards. We've got the Ten of Hearts, the Queen of Diamonds, and the Five of Diamonds. Now listen, I've got to ask you a question. Which is the highest card? The highest card is the Queen of Diamonds, correct? Now your job is to get the Queen of Diamonds. Find the Queen of Diamonds, you win a prize. Let's find out what you can win today. Nothing. Yes, we've got no prize to be won today, but listen, it's very simple. Keep looking for that queen. What we're going to do is very simple. We're going to take these three cards and turn them over. Where's the queen? Hey, Dundil, the queen's in the middle. Correct. We turn the cards over. You take out the queen and place it on the table. There we go. I'm left with two more cards. The cards I'm left with are the ten of hearts and the five of diamonds. Let's have a quick look. Which card do you pick? Do you pick the joker? Um... You, you don't win the prize. Sorry, try again next time. Okay, to make the card in the middle is very simple. What we need is a few items. We need four playing cards. We need some sellotape and a pair of scissors. Now, if you're a child making this, please make sure you got your parents' permission or you've got a parent or guardian watching you while you make this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place these cards to one side first. Well, we don't need them at the moment. We're going to start with the queen. The queen is the important card. We need to cut the queen. To cut the queen, what we do is we're going to cut it across like so. So we cut it all the way across, just like that, giving us a little bit of a strange triangle. We're going to get rid of this piece. We don't need that. We're going to cut a piece off here. And we're going to cut a piece off there as well leaving us with a very unusual looking playing card. Now this piece is very important, as what we're going to do, we're going to take the Ten of Hearts and we'll take a piece of sticky tape, like so. We only need a small piece, I would say approximately that size should do. Cut that piece off, we don't need any more tape now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make a hinge. We're going to take this piece of tape and we're going to bend it in half like that. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure the edge lines up with the very edge of the playing card. Like that. Okay, so you've got half on, half off of the tape. There we go. That will do. Lovely. Okay, once we've done that, we straighten out a little bit. There we go. We come back to the Ten of Hearts. What we're going to do is place the Queen on the front of the Ten like that. It sticks all the way on, so now we've got a bit of a flappy card. It's a little bit flappy, make sure it's nice and secure. There we go, that's lovely. Once we've done that, to set up the trick, we take our joker, we place our joker under the queen, it slots in, just like so. We take our five of diamonds, we place that on top, and we place our thumb just there to cover the other edge gap. Now, what we do, we save them right. What we've got here is three cards. The Ten of Hearts, the Queen of Diamonds, the Five of Diamonds. Your job is to find the Queen of Diamonds. Now, as we do this, we turn it over, but we know this card here is actually the Joker. But they don't know that. So we turn it over, we get them to take out the middle card and place it on the table. Once they've done that, you move these cards together, like so. So when you turn them back over, you're hiding the Queen. The Queen's there. You move it over, show the 10 and the 5, and you put them away. You're done. You're left with this card here. You turn it over and you show, oh, I'm sorry, but you pick the Joker. And that's the middle card. Well, guys, this does bring us to the end of our card in the middle. Now, once you've made the little gimmick card, keep it safe, keep it in a wallet, just make sure it doesn't get bent up. Then one, you can take it out with you to really amaze all your friends and family. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button below, give us a like, and we'll make the magic happen.